Okay, so hello everyone, it's JLBeat87 here, and today we are going to get into my eyeshadow palette collection video. So, I've been wanting to do this for a while, just so y'all could kind of see what I have, and then maybe to help with, like, video ideas for throwback, even though it's not Thursday videos, and, um, full face and nothing new videos, or just individual, like, revisiting palette videos of palettes that I've had for a while, but I did feature on my channel because I probably didn't have a channel when they came out or something like that. So I figured I'd go ahead and get started with that. I do have other random things in here. Like you see my couple of, um, I have a couple of Boom Boom Creams. And then I have a backup of one of my favorite KVD Vegan Beauty brushes. It's the double-ended one. It was before, um, you know, she had all the controversy she had and they kicked her out. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I think I put one in the giveaway before. I don't remember, so don't quote me. Or I might have just sold it on Poshmark. I don't remember. Oh, and then I have a couple other brushes on the side over here. Let me grab those out. But I have the um, Sigma F40, F F82 Kabuki brush. And then one of my favorite Heavenly Lux brushes from It Cosmetics. The one with the concealer brush on the bottom and the foundation brush on the top. So let me get those out of here. So we don't have to talk about them later. Oh, and the last thing I have is the 62 candle from... Um, Sol de Janeiro again. That's supposed to smell like the Boom Boom Cream. So I really wanted this around Christmas time and I got this in a Boom Boom Cream and I was excited about it. I hope they bring this one out next year. I haven't lit it yet because I'm like, I'm scared I'm going to like the smell of it and then I'm going to burn it out before they have another one come out and I don't want to buy the big one. And I, like an idiot, didn't buy it during the sale. So, you know, yeah. But let me <clears throat> move this so I can move some other things down here. Like these milk palettes and things. And then we can finally get into what we're supposed to be talking about instead of all the other random things that are in the eyeshadow palette drawer that don't have anything to do with eyeshadow. All right, so here we go. Um, You all recently saw a video on this palette along with the other one I have with it. I bought the set, as you all saw in that video, but I've only used two of them because I wanted to be able to clue the brand in the giveaway because I actually really like the way the shadows perform. That's the purple haze one, though. And this is what it looks like. Um, I actually really like this palette. I, as y'all know, I love the multi-chromes. I don't really give a damn about the pressed glitters that they put in here. I'm not a pressed glitter person, so they could have kept those out and been fine with me. But the palette actually performs pretty nice. The purples in here are really nice. I actually had an easier time with this than the one that you all expected me to really like. So I actually like this one better than that one. Of course, I feel like if you watch the video, then you know I'm talking about the Girl Scout palette. I really like <clears throat> this palette. Um, the color story, but the purple haze when I showed you performs better. This is what the inside looks like, and again, it has those pretty dual chromes in it. I'm not feeling again the fact that it has pressed glitter. I'm gonna try out the pressed glitter stuff just to see like how the formula of them is, but um, you know, I'm not necessarily um excited about that. And I felt like the greens and blues in this palette were actually kind of difficult to work with as opposed to other palettes I own, so I was a little disappointed by that, but I'm gonna still keep it because I really like it. And I want to see what else is going to come out from this brand. So, since the milk ones want to fall over, let's start with this one. I believe this is the um, latest one I bought, which is the Baby Girl set. And yes, I am right. It's, as you all know, I am a huge Aaliyah fan. So, of course, I had to have the Baby Girl stack. But this is actually the last stack I bought. I think I bought it off somebody for like 25 or 30 bucks on Poshmark. Is Poshmark or Macari? Crap. That's what I hate about these. They always fall and break up when you try to open them up. That's the only th thing that sucks about these. It's like the magnet isn't strong enough to hold all of them when you have too many at one time. But anyway, that's what just feels like. So I was like, crap. But this is what it looks like. This is my baby girl stack. And I'm glad to know other people like Aaliyah, not just me. Oh, crap. What happened to this eyeshadow? Oh, okay, it's fine. False alarm. Um, the next one is, I think this is Love Sick or Dark Matter. Okay, so this is Dark Matter. Um, I did not buy Rust just because the color store of it wasn't that exciting to me. Now, mine doesn't look right because I took that super white shade out of it. And I just took the gray shade from the, um, what is it, from the gunmetal stack. And I think it's gunmetal stack and put it in here because I didn't need that super white shade. And I thought like the gray would work better for some of my skin tone. I still kept this one just because it's like one of those weird, like, nudish, mustardy type shades. But I figured this one could go good with this one. And then this one would go good with this one. And since my gunmetal stack showed up broken, um, which I was kind of disappointed about, I just um, <clears throat> gave it to my cousins because I'm like, I don't really reach for palettes like that. And I already have a couple of palettes like that in my collection, so I didn't have to keep it. So this is the Love Sick stack right here. Let me go ahead and open it up. And I really like the Love Sick, Sick stack. I don't have mine in the order that they normally put them in for you to buy. I put them in the order that 
I wear the shadows. So, like, for example, obviously I wear the darker one with this purple. And I wear the lighter one with this um, peachy shade. So, that's why mine is set up the way it is. But, you know. I'm sorry they look a little dirty. Um, the thing is, I don't use them that often. But, you know, they just look dirty. And this is the... Um, which one is this? Oh, I have one more. This is the um, Shapeshifter stack. This is, like, one of my all-time favorite ones. I do still think it's high for the price, especially since it doesn't um, have that many shifts in color as I expected it to, especially because it's melt and the price. But, you know, and I said that in the video when people was hot. See, this is why people don't like these, because, like, this stack is falling and it's not staying stuck together like it's supposed to while I'm trying to make a video. You're making me look bad. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And I'm excited because Melt said they're going to honor the sale email that they sent out in March on the sale. They're having Friday on the 9th. Wait, no, Friday on the 8th. And it's 24 hours to the 9th. So I will definitely be doing that. And the last one I have is the Blueprint Stack. Now, I didn't buy it when it originally came out because I was disappointed by the fact they had boring browns in it. Because they don't typically do that. But I noticed they've been doing that, like, a lot recently. Like, they made a whole rust palette, and needless to say, we know I'm not buying that, because it looks boring. However, I will be getting the 420 palette, even though it looks just like Gemini, and um, Smoke Session had a baby, but I still need it. Even though it doesn't really look like Smoke Session's involved in it all, except for, like, maybe, like, the matte colors, because it doesn't really have any shimmers but one. But this is what it looks like. I focus on the front part. I don't really use the back part, so that's why it's still in the box, because I didn't get the pretty blue packaging like I wanted. And people are, like, on Poshmark charge the arm and leg for the blue packaging. But I heard the formula. This one isn't that great. I agree. It's not their best. But, you know, like, it's not, like, trash. As you can see, I got my Jackie Aina glow powders in here as well. I couldn't think of anywhere else to put them because I didn't want to put them in my highlighter drawer. So, I just put them in here. This is La Peach and La Bronze. I like to mix them together. I don't know if I just wear either one of them on their own. So, And then I have makeup Shayla's in here too because I was just like, if I put Jackie's in here, I might as well just put these in there too. So I have Boomin and Pose. I like Pose better than Boomin because I feel like it works better for my skin tone. And I'm not really big on golds if you all have not noticed. I don't rarely, if ever, wear gold highlighters. So let's get into some of these other palettes in the corner. So I have my Safari Rain palette. I'm actually glad I got this. I compared it to the tried palette here a while ago just to like show not to actually with the eye look but this is what it looks like i heard they came back in it came with it back in stock on their website just temporarily and they had it on beauty bay for like a while i don't know if it's still there or not because i haven't checked in a while but it's a really pretty palette y'all know um i like the middle row and the bottom row i don't really care about the top row i use it every now and again when i need to rush out the house and i want to have a cute you know quick eye look but the general rule i'm a smoky girl and i'm a blue and green purple colorful girl so the, the majority of this palette is right up my alley which is why i went ahead and purchased it plus i knew the um formula was gonna be good so i went ahead and got a base upon that i have a whole series on this palette which i feel like was underappreciated so i stopped like you know using it <laughs> for that series i haven't actually used it in a while i need to break it out again this is the vivid pigments and shadows palette by um colored rain um sorry i have to open up stuff really weirdly but the way i had to set up this angle of this camera in order to put this in the drawer is why i have to set it up why i have to open things the way i have to open them um anyway i'm trying to get the whole thing in the frame there we go so this is the bottom of it this is more toward the top <clears throat> i didn't want to pull out my entire drawer but i really like this palette <clears throat> and it looks really nice it has y'all know it, you got me it got a full row of blues and purples and then it has little pops of green in it too like yes and i bought it so late to like it was actually in a palette y'all know when it first came out it was like in the um little magnetic palette and that's why i didn't want to buy it because i wasn't really feeling that whole thing so i'm glad i waited because it you know worked out better for me that way um sorry i had to take a drink this is the bretman rock what is it jungle rock palette yes jungle rock um this is what it looks like when i first tried this at least like the reds and the um i think the pinks i didn't really like it but i liked it when i used the blue the purple and the green in it so i mean i'm gonna keep it around for now because um it actually performed really well it was just the lighting in my kitchen was terrible when i did the eye looks so it was like i thought it looked bad but then when i went in the public i was like oh okay it doesn't look as bad as i thought it did so yeah, they're actually having a 30% off sale right now. I don't know when this video is going to go up, though, so I probably shouldn't be talking about all these sales and deals because it's like, who knows when the hell you're actually going to see it. But anyway, this is the palette, <coughs> and I will be keeping that one. 
don't know why I keep saying I'll be keeping it like this is a declutter video. I told y'all this was a collection, so that way I didn't have to keep saying I'll keep it. So let me calm myself down there. Sorry. Um, I recently got this one and did a video on it. This is a Strawberry Dreams by um Luna Beauty. I'm still mad that Sephora did me dirty. Um, this one came broken. You'll see in a second. I have to keep the the thing on top of it because a couple of my shades came broken like the really pretty one at the top that i was most excited about came broken as you can see i had to like smush that back in and then the one on the end i don't really care about that one that much i'll probably care when fall comes but right now i don't and it came smushed but this is a beautiful palette like i really like the color story when it first came out i liked the color story but i was just like i don't want to pay the price because i didn't know if i was going to like the formula or not but it's actually a really nice formula and now i kind of want to get the um was it i think it's moon spell or is it love spell palette I kind of want to get that one now. So this is my little Julius Place collection. I sent some of them to my um mom's and some of my grandmother's house. But, you know. So I'm going to start off with the two little ones that I bought. As y'all know, I had bought the berries and I bought the violets. I think I gave the berries away in a giveaway or was it the violets? I don't remember. But um, this is what the palette looks like. It's a cute little berries home palette when you want to do a quick look. And then I have the violets. Of course, y'all know I was way more excited about the violets. Like, look at these purples. Like, you rarely see a purple like this in a palette. The only thing is with the shimmers in these palettes, I feel like they're more of like a satin formula. And you know me. I like my bang, pal, shimmer in your face look. So that's the only thing I don't like about those palettes. But otherwise, they're fine. Um, I have the Tribe palette. Like, this is one of my all-time favorite Julius Place palettes. Like, I have them stacked in the order of importance of them to me for the most part. A couple of them aren't, but for the most part, they're in the order I like them. So I like this one. Can you see why? Like, look at this, like, pukey, mustardy brown um, shade. And then, like, all of these greens. And this is, like, a multi-chrome shimmer with, like, blue. I'm um, sorry, with green shimmers in it. So I really like that. I'm not really that concerned about the two oranges in here. But everything else is beautiful in this palette. And I love it. Um, maybe if I pull out the door a little bit more, but I don't want to, like, fall over. Maybe that'll help with, you know, being able to see these palettes. But, yeah, I have the Warrior 3 palette. I really like, um, this palette as well. It's just, like, a simple rainbow palette or whatever. Yeah, that's way better. It's just a simple rainbow palette, but I really like it. Um, I think it looks nice, and it's my second favorite palette. Now, this isn't my third favorite palette, but it was just stacked in that order. I want to use this one with the Warrior palette. I feel like it would make some cool and unique looks, but <clears throat> this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, Jesus Place is always having a sale, so if you like any of these, you can always go to their website and get them on sale. Not to mention, if you want to use somebody's code, you can use code Fumi. Fumi Desani, I think that's how you say it. I'm so sorry if I got it wrong, Fumi. She had a palette come out with them as well, so you could always um buy that as well. But this is what the zulu palette looks like now i feel like the duce palette is really underrated i really like it though <laughs> um i like the purple shade in the middle there i like the green i feel like that'd make a cool complimentary shade and then like if you want to add some shimmer you can put the um this top color on the um inner corner put that on the lower lash line or put that one on the lower lash line and just make some really interesting looks with this palette so i really like it i know a lot of people thought it was weird and at first when i got out i was like what the hell am i supposed to do with this color story like sometimes i'm hesitant about julius place palettes just because i'm like what the hell am i supposed to do with this weird ass color story now this is one of my all-time favorite julius place palettes because i like the fact that it has the cools and the warms in it and this is the magic palette i got the magic mini i originally had the full size magic but then i sold it on poshmark so i could get the mini one just because i was like i don't need that many eyeshadows so I really like this palette. And I like the fact they went from day to night with the color story. Whereas I don't like the masquerade as much because they started with the cool tones and then it went down to warm. So I prefer this one just because it's like warm than cool. And I know that sounds really stupid for a reason not to like like the color story palette more than another one. Because I feel like the masquerade palette has way more vibrant colors that you feel like I would like more than the um, magic palette. But because of the layout of it, I just don't like it like see like it has all the exciting stuff at the top and then you like you look at the bottom and it's just like a whole bunch of boring browns and it's like oh and then i don't get expired or excited because i'm just like there's like one matte shade in here that isn't brown and then the rest of the shades are like the brown boring ones at the bottom so that's why i hardly if ever reach for the palette just because i'm like i'm not impressed by that i don't like it 
but you know the formula of Julia's place is really great and I feel like I can um use some of the mats in the masquerade or combine the masquerade and the um magic so that's why I hold on to them um, I only have two of these Norvina palettes. I'm hoping she comes out with more, like, next year. Because we tied her and I tried to pass this year. So, please don't do any more this year. But, you know, come out with some next year and I'll appreciate it. Um, So, this is the Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2. And then I have the Pro Pigment Palette Volume 3. I actually like the Volume 3 more than the Volume 2 when it comes to color story. And I know y'all gonna be shocked because y'all know I'm all about these type of shades. These blues, these purples. These greens, these pinks, even though this one is mainly blue and green inspired in my opinion. And then it's doing like a couple of pops of color just so it wasn't so, you know, blue heavy. But it's still, you know, blue heavy at the end of the day. And that's why, of course, I had to have it. And I got an amazing deal because I think I ended up getting it for like $35 or something. Because, um, wait, no, it might have been a little less than 35 These I forgot how much these were. But I think they were like 60 bucks, and I had a 20% off coupon at, um... Alta, so that's how I ended up getting that one. But this is volume three. Let's go ahead and open her up. And then there's my Glam Light Cake palette. That's my last big palette that I have here. I sent the um Jaclyn Hill palettes to my grandmother's house, both of them. So that's why you don't see them here. But I do have both of those as well. Um, uh, but yeah, this color story, I don't know why it's just more apparent to me. I guess it feels more summery to me, and that's why I like it better. Don't quote me. I'm not 100% on why. I just know I, for some reason, I like this color story better. I don't know if it's because of the pop of orange in the background that makes it look more vibrant. But this one I like better. I've done a couple of looks with each one of these palettes. If I remember correctly, I think I've done like three looks with each palette. Because I did one for YouTube. I did one I, um, each for YouTube. Did one each for Instagram. And then I um did one recently with each one of these. I think I put that on Instagram as well. Combined with like some shimmer shadows. But I keep my cake palette in the oven because I think it's just so cute. And the aesthetic is so nice. Oh, that's my blending egg thing. I don't know why that's down there. I don't even know why I still have that. I think um my grandmother had took some was bothering my drawers one day so i just do all the stuff that was in the drawers in there and for some reason this was in there but i'm gonna go ahead and throw that away because there's no need for my tickets to dubai i will definitely be keeping though because as a memory i want to keep forever but um yeah so this is my cake palette so glad like this is what the inside looks like i really like this palette because again it's really blue purple and green heavy it does have some other colors in it, but it's like it's not like a whole bunch of neutral colors, and I can appreciate that, which is why I really like this palette. I wanted to try Grandma's formula, so that's another reason I bought that. I got a couple of pizza palettes as well, but I sent those to my grandmother's house. I think I bought the green. I think I just bought the green one, and that was it. I don't think I bought the meat lovers one, because as y'all know, the veggie lovers was calling my name. Um, so since I did that, I got some palettes in a box here. I'm going to pull some of them out for you all to see now. I'm not going to pull them all out just because I'm like, um, some of them I have other things with. So I'll probably just do the singles and then as I go, I'll show you more. Um, but yeah, so crap, I still forgot to bring more palettes in here that I've already hauled. But, um, you know, y'all just got the best out of them. Sorry, I'm not going to come back and do it again. But yeah, so these are, um... These two are from JD Glow. What I didn't like about this one is, like, it keeps crumbling. As you can see on the side, like, look at that. Like, it kept crumbling out. I don't know if it's, like, they had pressed it, and then they didn't press enough in it for the weight that they were claiming, and they had to repress it. But it's, like, once they did that, like, I it flaked on me everywhere. It was constantly falling out, and I didn't appreciate that. So I haven't bought anything from them since, just because I didn't like that. Plus, it got all of my mirror and stuff, and I was just like, uh. I think this is Earthshine, which is crazy, because I have Earthshine in another palace. So why I bought it as a single, I don't know. No, I'm sorry, that's Glass Bull by ColourPop. And then I think this one is Secret Garden or something. I'm sorry, Tea Garden. But see, they're just a whole bunch of dual chromey type shades. And then what is the name of this one? Um, Wishful Thinking. So those were just some of the ones I really liked. That's why I particularly picked those out. If I remember correctly, I think these two at the bottom are like ABH. This is Best Coast Scenario, one of my favorite ColourPop shadows. And then I think this was, this one's called Erasure or something. Yeah, Erasure. And I think that you got that when uh, I think I ended up getting that because they had shipped my Club Pop order late. So they just ended up giving me that single. I want to get some more singles and do some videos with some of my singles because I feel like I have <clears throat> a few singles and I just don't ever really reach for them. Especially my dual chromey ones. I feel like I really need to use those. And speaking of dual chromey ones, these two shades are from um, the I Love Sada E um, collab with Club Pop. And all the rest of these are Luxie Beauty except for that one. This one is an ABH shade, but um, some of my favorite ones in here are definitely this one right here. Of course, I have to reach for the blue one, right? Um, 
this one is tipsy i really like this shade i have a picture with it and it looks amazing I feel, i'm pretty sure this is omega yeah this one is omega i really like that one as well i like the look see beauty shadow formula it's pretty good um and then i have ultraviolet it's really nice those are again just some of my favorite ones that i wanted to point out in particular and then we're gonna get into the big one like all my uh, magnetic palettes of the tart i bought these before they had the whole you know foundation situation where they screwed up i'm sad because we've lost one of our soldiers from the um touch of glam beauty um vivid's pigments bundle but you know alas you know everybody has to go sometimes it broke on me i don't know if i had dropped the palette and then when i picked it back up i went to go do something else with it it um broke but i just added some new shadows in here so these three are from the terra moon collection and i recently did a video with all three of these you haven't seen it yet though um because i got the natasha denona and um <clears throat> tropic and safari palettes while they were on sale during this um sephora sale so this one is called interstellar this one um it's called powdered sugar and this one is hard apple cider i think but those are really pretty this is the vivid bundle from um what do you call it um touch of glam beauty like i said and the rest of these for the most part are um color pop shadows and i think this one right here that one right there and that one right there i'm pretty sure ab8 shadows but this palette is really nice to look at but i want to get another palette so i can have this bundle separately on its own along with all the other shimmery shades and then like have all the mattes in one palette or something like that so i know they have the palettes on sale at ultra right now for ten dollars so i'm probably gonna go ahead and like hook that whole situation up now let's get into some color pop i'm gonna just do the monochromatic ones for now because they're the ones that's closest to me so we're gonna go ahead and work that out now um i'm just gonna pull some little palettes over and then maybe I'll go in there, but I want to get, like, as many little ones as I can out of the way. And then I'm going to have to reorganize this drawer yet again because I pulled out a lot of stuff so I can have space to just move all these things down as we go. So I'll have to keep going back and forth. All right. Why am I in this spot? Okay, so... This is one of my first most watched videos. This is the Ooh La La palette by ColourPop. I actually really like this palette, but I hardly ever use it. Like, I want to do a video on palettes, but, like, I, you know, I buy from brands I hardly ever use. Let me know if y'all want to see that, because this brand will definitely be in there. I have a lot of ColourPop, and I hardly have ever used any of it. But I really love this palette. I think this was the first video I got, like, 80 views on or something. And at that time, I think I only had, like, 45 subscribers or something like that. So, I don't know. But I think this is a gorgeous palette. I like the look I did with it. And I was thinking about recreating it. Like people do recreate when I first my one of my first viral YouTube videos or whatever. I don't know. But this is the Blue Moon palette. Y'all know I was gonna get this one because look at it. It's just amazing. And these are stacked in accord in accordance to the importance of the palettes to me. So the blue moon and look at that shift like just me sitting here holding it like this you can see the shift in that shimmery shade it's amazing and like i love the choices of blue that they picked in this palette i think they are simply gorgeous this is a gorgeous palette and i'm here for it, it is a vibe and y'all know i hardly ever use it because i always have to test out new eyeshadows for you all but if, you, if i didn't that was one i would probably use consistently and regularly because as we know i just love me some purple i mean i love me some blue i love me some purple too though so I got the It's My Pleasure palette along with the Lilac You Align. I think I have used both of them in combination in the video. I don't remember. But I know I like this one. Earth Shine is just absolutely gorgeous. And then Do or Doe is good. Chiclet is a little difficult to use. Bare Minimum is cool. I like the majority of everything in this palette. I haven't touched this one as you can see just because it's one of those shades with the shimmer in it or sequin shades or whatever they call them i don't like those type of shades so i don't really reach for them that much mr sandman is really nice too so overall this palette is gorgeous and that's another reason i really like it and it's in this little stack so um i like you a lot um i really like this one for the springtime because to me it's just a lighter version of the it's my pleasure palette we just showed you and it, i feel like it gives great depth and variety when it comes to you know um purples and plus like i said i can mix it with that one which is why it's underneath it because i feel like they make great combinations when you want a darker look you would use the it's my pleasure and then you can use the inner corner shimmery dual chromes from um lilac you would like to put in your inner corner or on lower lash line or just to give you extra pop when you um use one of the shimmers in that um it's my pleasure palette but this is the uh-huh honey palette i didn't think i'd like a yellow palette that much but i actually really like this one i actually used the glitter in the middle here and y'all know i don't ever use glitters but this is my favorite shade right here sunburst i just love the dual chromey effect it has and i like to put it on top of like this color here 
what is that dandy and then i love this color buzz kill i love browns like that that have that weird yellowy mustardy undertone so overall i really like this palette and then if you want to do like a simple um yellow look you can just put this all over the lid put that in the inner corner or put this in the inner corner just it's just a really nice palette and i have it a little lower down just because yellows don't always work well with my skin tone but if i found a base that was really really popping it would probably be higher up um i have the just my luck palette believe it or not this is one of my least favorite monochromatic palettes by ColourPop. the only shade i really care about is the one in the middle and then this charm shade in the corner because it has like that greenish chocolate brown type vibe it's kind of cool to me but otherwise i don't really care about anything as a palette palette oh and i like all of you but like the greens they chose i'm not really that crazy about um act natural is the only green i really like everything else I could be fine without so i could literally just take these four shades out and maybe keep mr banks sometimes i like it sometimes i don't but the rest of the shades in here i'm not that fond of and since y'all know i got plenty of green palettes to choose from some smelt wants to come out with one every year not to mention i have the juicy olive you'll see a little later it's like this one isn't that high up for me because it's like other palettes that come out since then that was better when it first came out i was all about it but it's like once smoke session and some other stuff came out i was and i got my hands and i was just like i don't care as much and meant to be is dead last just because i don't know i feel like whenever i try to use mint pastels it doesn't ever work for me and then the fact that these are so light and then this gray is really weird and ugly shaded to me like i know they needed something to darken the outer v but i don't know i just don't like the fact that this is like a really grayish green the only matte in here that i like is this one and i like the dual chromey shades but if i just honestly took these four shades out and then kept the other four shades in that one and just I could get rid of both those palettes and combine them. I'm thinking about doing that just because I don't really like either one of both the shades and all that. As a matter of fact, let's take both of these out. And I might do that tomorrow and make a little YouTube video about how you can pop those out real quick and handle that. So, yeah, we just found me an activity to do tomorrow. Because I've got to film some eyeshadow palette videos too. But I might just wait till Monday to do those. Because I still have to go to work tonight. And it's like... It was 8.20 when I started this um, video, and I still have to work, like, I think a four or five-hour shift tonight because um, the store has a truck coming in, and they asked if we would come in for overtime to help, and I was like, why not get the overtime while it's good? But, yeah, so does anybody know what this is? I feel like you should know. It, you know, I'm a Jackie Iron fan, so, of course, this is the... The writing on that is so tiny. Um, this is J Glow by Jackie Iner. Um, I didn't buy this when it first came out, believe it or not. Like, I right when i started watching her like they had sold out of it in the, and i think it was at the end point where they weren't gonna bring it back but this is what it looks like and i'm definitely feeling the vibe of this even jackie was like down with the blues back in the day so i'm assuming it's supposed to be a face highlighter i don't know don't quote me but this is supposed to be like your base shade your crease shade and then you can use those two as your lid shades oh wait no this says line so i guess you use that as your liner i don't know but i mean you know makeup is whatever you make it so you can use it however you want but um i just thought it was cool i stumbled on this at a tj max and i was like yes i need it now i wouldn't dare put it on my eyes because you know um yeah i i care about them and jackie hasn't done anything with elf in 500 years so i wouldn't dare put that on my eyes um this is one of the first videos i made too on the Aaliyah matt collection i love Aaliyah. if you don't know anything about me know that i have been a Aaliyah stan forever like, I used to laugh at old people when they talk about they remember where they were when somebody died until Leah died. Because I remember where I was, what I was doing and everything. I was in the eighth grade. That's crazy because Leah's been dead, like, that long. It's just... Anyway, about this palette. I am not that crazy about the color story, but since I am a Leah stand, we're going to keep it forever now. it's To me, it's more of a collector's piece. I'm not actually going to put it on my eyes. I put it on my eyes for a video and did, like, a dark, nice, smoky look. The type of look y'all know I like to wear. So, I mean, it worked for that, but I'm not going to probably ever use this again i'm just gonna hold on to it forever because i was so happy that the Leah got on that collection now i'm gonna show you the rest of my little patrick star um quads these are only um max shadows i own believe it or not besides that Leah one i don't know i just wasn't super impressed with the formula it's not like it's bad it's just you know like average compared to all the other stuff that you can get like i can get pat mcgrath natasha denona um you know anastasia beverly hills huda beauty you know way um dominique cosmetics lots of persona cosmetics like lots of other brands have better eyeshadow palettes formulas this is gold getters if i remember correctly is that what it is i believe yeah gold getter that's this one right here and i know y'all shocked i have this one um i saw jackie do a cute little simple eye look and i was like again if i ever have to rush and go somewhere i could like want to pad like and throw my makeup bag really quick that if i have to rush and put it on it's not gonna look like total shit so i figured you know 
stuff like this is good for that so that's why i um always try to keep a couple of them around two or three around like lately a lot more of them have been um like catching my eye which is weird because y'all know i don't really do the um boring tones but it's like i'll do a certain kind of nude when it comes to nudes but otherwise i'm not just like a stand for nudes so i have this um Patrick Star Spring Collection. This by far is my favorite Patrick Star Collection. Out of all the collections he did with Mac, he did the Spring Collection. Like, honey, he did that. I wasn't really that fond of the summer one. Um, the winter one, I only got that one palette from. And then the last winter one, I didn't even get. Because I was like, the green palette just wasn't that, you know, exciting to me. But this collection right here, this is my Patrick Star Collection. The Spring Collection. And then the powder that came in the original winter collection when he first came out. But this palette, oh my god, can you tell how much I love the blue shade here? I think you can. Um, what is the name of this? This one is Play With Me and then the um the all cool tone purple one that I really like is called Stay With Me. That's this one right here. And it looks amazing. I bought both boxes just because it looks so amazing. The blushes, I'm telling y'all, like everything in that collection was beautifully curated. And I will definitely give Patrick his roses. He did that, honey. He did all of that. And this is, I always take this one and that one I just showed you all on vacation. And then I take his new one for the days when we have to rush to like go on excursions and stuff. And um, I don't have to try to rush and try to get an eye look together. But lately I've been taking the Pat, uh, the um, Pat McGrath um, Eye Ecstasy Palette <clears throat> when I go on vacation. But obviously we're not going anywhere now. But still, I got all three of the neon palettes from Huda along with y'all just are gonna see a recent video with this one i just got this one when she had a 30 percent off sale on her website and then i have the um smoky obsessions but anyway i'm gonna show you all of them that's why this video is gonna be 500 years long because you get to see every single palette just in case you haven't seen it before i'm not gonna swatch anything now now we're gonna do all that or else we'd be here like an hour and a half and we're probably gonna be here an hour as it is because like this entire drawer is full and then i got a box on the side with other stuff from brands that isn't in the drawer because i'm supposed to be filming with it but this is what it looks like this is the neon orange <clears throat> it's my least favorite one but i put it at the top because i was just going according to like whatever this is my actually my favorite one i heard a lot of people saying they didn't like the way this one worked it worked fine for me um this is the neon pink palette i like all the shimmers in here um i do have the uh, lilac pastel and the lilac mint you all haven't seen that video yet um but i'm sending those to my grandmother's house because i already have the um color pop versions of those and i'd be more likely to use those than the hooded ones so they're just gonna stay at my grandmother's house and like right away to die so um i finally feel okay going to my boyfriend's house because if you all remember i told you he had corona so i don't want to go over there anytime soon i want to give it time to die down and then have to take sanitation wipes and rub all my makeup and stuff down there and then wash i have him like wash the clothes the few clothes i left over there but this is my neon pink palette and um i really like this one i'm sorry i keep getting off topic y'all but <clears throat> Y'all know how I am. I be like rambling. This is the neon green. This is everyone's least favorite palette. Everyone hates this palette. The only thing I like in this palette is the shimmers. I'm like Julia Mazzucato. I do like the shimmers in this. Everything else sucks. Like this green didn't do anything for me. Um, the shimmers in here are really nice though. So that's why I keep it around. I like the shimmers in here. I feel like they're good toppers. Like if you just want to put it on top of a plain, um, um, what is it? Like matte shadow. And you want some little extra oomph at the end of the night when you're going out after you've gone to work and you need that pop of color i feel like this would be great for that but just wait till she has a sale where it's 50 percent off because that's the only reason i bought this one because i had looked at them when they first came out i thought they were really nice but i saw all the horrible reviews on it and i was like i'm not paying you damn near like 30 dollars for this palette and everybody tell me how it's trash girl no um <clears throat> next i have the nude rich palette of course this is the one that was catered to my skin tone and i don't ever have a problem with buying nudes from huda because i feel like she does nudes the way i would do nudes which is like more on the mauvey like berry tone side i hate people that always do the browns and the golds like those aren't my type of nudes like if i have to wear a nude this is the type of nude i would do so i know to like always reach to huda when it comes to a nude because she makes my kind of nude but anyway that's the only reason i bought this palette it was 30 percent off everybody was raving about how wonderful they were and i was like i need I like to put new stuff incorporated in um, videos of full faces. So I was like, I can go ahead and get this and try it out. And it's actually pretty nice for, um, you know, being a nude palette. Um, and this is the one of the first ones I bought. I bought this one in the Mauve Obsessions. But I got rid of the Mauve Obsessions because I had bought her um, new nudes palette. And I felt like some of the colors from the Mauve Obsessions was in there. Especially since I have this new rich palette. I definitely don't feel like I need that one anymore either. So it's on my Macari page if anybody's interested in it um 
but this is what this one looks like now i like this one because of the silver and then like all the, the smoky tones in like i really like this type of brown when it comes to darkening the outer v or like putting it all over the lid and then putting a nice little shimmer on top or whatever so this palette is like the perfect palette for me when it comes to a nude palette from huda so like i said nude, huda just does my type of nude for when i have to wear nude so when it comes to nude palettes she is one of the people i would reach for i actually i also like dominique cosmetics way that she does nudes as you can see i have this one and then in the box i have the latte 2 palette because i told you i had other palettes from the brand so let me grab all of my kirsten palettes and then we can look at those because i had taken two of those out because i was going to film with them so i usually keep them stacked in the order that they came out in obviously the um i'm just putting the latte 2 behind that one because they're both nudes so that's the only exception i do when it comes to that otherwise i try to keep them pretty much the way they're supposed to be so this and i have every single dominique cosmetics palette that there is i even have like the um highlighter face palette i have not gotten her um glowing highlighters yet i'm trying to hold off on that for a little bit i want them to come to Sephora, so just in case i don't necessarily like the formula or i feel like the color i got is wrong i can at least return it to them i don't want to have to return it back to her which is the only reason i'm waiting because it's not like they're expensive they're only 25 dollars. i always appreciate that she does do reasonable prices and then it's like she does have our discount codes like if you want to buy something from her website you can use trend moves code and get 10 percent off and i think she has her own code i think it's dominique don't quote me on her code but i know trend mood has a code for 10 percent off so i'm sorry if you can hear a lot more in the background but this is what latte one looks like i actually really like this palette like this is one of my go-to nude palettes if i have to wear a nude because i really like the shade um what is it um i like the shade espresso i know she said she likes i think it was macchiato that she likes a creme brulee but i really like espresso i think it's perfect then you put on mocha or you put on um what is this hazelnut and then y'all know me i'll gladly put cold brew like all over the lid and then just put like mocha in the crease and then put like um espresso or like macchiato or something in, in a corner that's a nice look for me so this palette is a nice neutral palette then i have the latte 2 palette from dominique cosmetics um this is what it looks like um I like the fact that she put darker shades in here because I feel like they're going to be a good contrast and combination together. Now, I'm not necessarily excited that this one has more of a reddish undertone in it. I know you can't tell on camera. Okay, yeah, I think you can tell now that it has a reddish undertone. But I always like that she puts little pops of color in here. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do anything with the color Frothy or this one. But I like strawberry milk. I think I did look with this all over the lid. And then I put like matcha on the lower lash line or something like that. And then I like blonde rose. So I like when she puts pops of color in here. I know other people. I think Andrea Montanalo was talking about she wish she had put a different brown in here. But I'm like you can just combine the palettes and use the lighter browns that she has in the first one and make a look. So I, I feel like it's fine to me. It's like I always have to deal with a light ass shade like this that I can't use. So I mean like you can just pick up another palette. And I don't mean to sound like an asshole saying that because I love Andrea Montanalo. But. I have to deal with problems like this all the time. So, there's that one. Um, the next one is uh, the Lemonade Dominique Cosmetics Palette. Um, so, this is my least favorite palette. But it's the, another one of the smaller ones. So, that's why it's stacked the way it is. But, um, yeah, I don't like the way the shimmers are pressing here. They're pressed entirely too hard. They said they redid them and refunded everybody and sent them new ones. But I bought mine as a four, and I feel like it's still pressed too hard. So I don't know what's going on with that. The only two shades I like in here are this one when it comes to the shimmers. The, all the other shimmers are pressed entirely too hard. This one is okay. This one I really like. This one I really like. I love chai tea. Like, to me, this is one of the best, like, mauve -ish tone shades. I like the colored mango and sweet tea. So I like the color story overall. It's just more of... The shimmers in here are pressed too hard, which makes me not excited to grab it because it's like I know I'm going to have to go to another palette and grab shimmers in order to make an eye look. I kind of want to pull this one out though and make a um, video with it too in addition to the ones I already had in the box because it's like I'm really feeling like using this, this, and this to make an eye look and maybe stick um, pink lemonade in the inner corner. So I think we're going to do that now. I just gave myself more work just by looking at a pretty palette. So, um, Berries and Cream by Dominique Cosmetics. This video got a lot of views on it. I noticed you all really like to watch me use Dominique Cosmetics things. I don't know if because a lot of brown girls don't buy Dominique Cosmetics or whatever, but I buy every single palette Kirsten comes out with. I have been a huge Kirsten Dominique fan for a very long time. So when she was coming out with a brand, I was like, yes, I have to buy it. I have to support it. I have to because she just seems like such a sweetheart. And I pray one day I get to meet her because I seem like she would just be a really awesome person to meet. We're both the same age. We both have like kids the same age. And both our kids want to do YouTube. My son's actually doing it now. I don't know if Kirsten's son is doing his yet, but I'm like, yeah, she just seems really cool. 
anyway back to the palette this is this was one of, this was my favorite Curse and dominique palette till another one came out but i feel like you all should know what the new one was that took this spot so this is number two for me and i did rank all these and i'm pretty sure in that video i said that this was number two as well but anyway um this palette is gorgeous and of course i love that she had included the pop of blue because it's just it just makes it a vibe for me because i'm like yes kirsten like i always love that she does unique color stories that no one else does because i feel like a lot of people just try to stick to traditional and you know like what they feel like they know will work and don't take any risk and i like the fact that with her color stories i feel like there's always some risks taken and you know it ends up working out in her favor this is the rustic glam this is another palette i don't like as much i don't know what it is when she comes out with summer palettes i always don't like them nearly as much as i do everything else so this one i don't like that much and you think i would because it has lots of blues and then it has greens but i don't know to me this color story was just a little too far out there with difference for me because it's like to me i don't feel like i can make a cohesive look i think i did like the pink and the blue one time and then i did like the cactus color and the wanderlust color on top or something but i don't know i just don't get inspired when i use this palette so that's why i don't really you know um talk uh i mean use it that often i want to make myself use it more but it's one i just i don't know i'm not inspired sitting here right now looking at it to pull it out to add it to use some more but as you can see i feel like y'all already know that is the palette that took the spot of berries and cream for me because it's just it's just amazing so um yeah this is a celestial storm palette um this is what it looks like we all know why i'm so in love with this palette right okay i'm glad we're all clear um when i first did a look with this palette i think i used this shade this shade and i think i probably used that shade i don't remember so don't quote me and that video got a lot of views like i said y'all really like to watch me review kirsten's palettes and i really like reviewing them so it works out for all of us but um yeah i i definitely want to do more looks with this and i this is one of the palettes i had in the box to make sure i do more looks with it so i'm gonna try to do looks with kirsten's palettes um tomorrow we'll see but this is one i am definitely going to use because it's just gorgeous okay we're gonna do a few more and then we are going to um do a part two because this video would be like two hours long because like i like to show in detail and talk about why i like the palette and all that and so you know that's gonna take me forever child because i'll be up here doing it entirely too much so we're just gonna do like this little section right here and the stuff that's in the box just so i can um make sure i um don't have to bring it back out again and try to um add it into the video because i forgot to add it the first time i'm not trying to do all that so we just gonna Move some of this stuff around to make sure that all brands that are in there included. I might have to do the ColourPop one another time, but since it's only one ColourPop palette, it's not that big a deal, I guess. Um, I am gonna film them back to back, like right now, but you just gonna see part one now, and then another part another time. Now, I know y'all probably shocked. I bought this palette, so let's start with it. Um, I bought the Too Faced, um, the Natural Nudes palette. Now, Mel Thompson is the reason I ended up with this palette, cause like when I first saw it, I was like, oh, okay, it's a boring neutral palette. Like when they showed it online, it didn't look that great, it didn't look exciting at all. But then I saw um Mel Thompson use it, and then with her lighting, like her lighting is way better than mine, so it looks like way better in her video than it does here. But I liked the mauve and then like the darker tones. Like the first like half of the palette I didn't really care about. Like but starting from like this part on, I was really intrigued by the palette. And then I caught some girl selling on her Poshmark for like 25 bucks. So I was like, so plus Mel said the formula and this was amazing. And she was right. The formula, this is it's like the Born to Run formula in the um Urban Decay palette. So that tells you the type of quality it is. The formula of that palette is amazing. And I actually really like this palette. I need to do some more looks with it. So that's why it was out. Um so let's just do the rest of the Too Faced because I don't have that much. I took my gingerbread spice to my grandmother's house, so that's why you don't see it here. I do still have it, though. Um, That was my first Christmas palette I actually bought from Too Faced, so it's kind of special to me. I think that's why I keep it around because, as y'all know, it's quite warm-toned, and I'm not a warm-toned girl. I don't think you can get peanut butter and jelly anymore, and this is one of the first Too Faced albums I ever bought. I mean, albums. Jesus, palettes I ever bought, so that's why um, it's in here. But, yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and... um. I'm keeping this just because it's a classic to me. And I think that's how they ended up coming with, um, then they come up with another palette, like peanut butter and honey or something like that. I didn't really like that. I thought it was terrible. I sent it back. Uh, but this one is really nice. And I really like it. Um, and it's one of the few classics I have left. I think that's like the only classic I have left besides the, um, sweet peach. I actually have the sweet peach and the just peachy mats up for sale. I'm trying to debate if I want to keep them or not though because i'm like i can keep the just peachy mats and that one at my grandmother's house for when i want to do like more 
tones but i need to see what's there because i don't remember and i'm not gonna get to go this weekend so i'm gonna have to wait and see this is the sparkling pineapple this palette is amazing i know people talk shit about these little palettes but like the formula in these are awesome and i actually really like the color story of this one better than the um berry one i actually sent the berry one in my grandmother's house because again i just like the formula of this one way better than i like that one so this one i will definitely be keeping I'm sorry, y'all. I keep doing that like I'm um, like this is a color video, even though I told y'all it's a collection video. Let me get my life in order. I'm so sorry. This is one of my all time favorite Too Faced palettes. Like, if you can get any palette, I would say get this, get the Natural Nudes, uh, and get the Just Peachy Mats. Like, those are the Too Faced palettes I definitely recommend if anybody is looking to dive into Too Faced. Those are the best formulas that they have, as far as I'm concerned. Now, with them, I feel like their formulas are inconsistent, but this one they got right. Like, this one is amazing. Now, I don't appreciate the fact I have this huge giant-ass shade that I can't use as usual, and then this huge giant-ass shade, because I don't even like gold shades, as you all know, so it's like, I wish you had split both of these and made them something else, like, because I can't really use this. I can barely use that, and then I don't like gold shadows, so it's like, it's just like three pans worth of stuff that I'm not really going to get much use out of, but I bought mine for like 20 bucks because I had free Macy's money that I had to use up, so that's why I'm not really tripping about it, because I only paid 20 bucks for this palette out of my own pocket, I didn't have to pay full price like other people did, so... And it's always going on sale, so you can always catch it on sale. I don't know why it's always going on sale, though, because it's like an amazing palette. So I, I, it's just crazy to me that, you know, it's on sale. But, oh, let me take this um, random single palette out. This is the QA Skinny Dip Palette. I actually really like this. Like, when you have an all matte palette, I feel like this would be good to use. Like, I feel like this, um, you know, when you use, like, your matte singles or whatever, you can use this as an inner corner highlight palette. Because to me, that's just what this is. This is an inner corner highlight or add some shimmer to your look at the end of the day palette. Like I said, when you have those all matte brown palettes or you just did an all matte look to where to work and you're going out later in the night, you can put this on and it would just be a magical moment. So, I'm definitely keeping that let me stop saying that i'm so sorry y'all I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to remember not to say that anymore because I'm, I'm annoying my damn self um so i have the impulsive palette this is this is currently on sale as a four i don't know if it's gonna be on sale when i um put this video up but if it is you should definitely check it out i mean for 65 dollars, i thought it was high and i didn't pay 65 dollars, but they have it on sale for like 32.50 and i definitely think it's worth the 32.50 it is amazing this is what it looks like sorry you have to keep these in there because they have these stupid um tower set up i mean it was a cool concept but it's like it's difficult when you have to you know store it and i don't know why i keep it in the box i really don't i guess because i'm scared the plastics are gonna slide out I don't know but anyway this is what the palette looks like of course y'all know i'm all about like this bottom row right here and this side i don't really care about the two top rows but you know um since i got it at an amazing deal and we know i'm a melt stand i just went ahead and was like okay i'll get it Let me all my little crappy plastic things back in here i have not used this palette that often i'm thinking about taking it out and using it some more because i kind of want to use it with the um the new 420 palette that they had come out because you know um I feel like it'll be good for that one because it has one shimmer in it and that had, as you saw, quite a few shimmers. Um, as you can see, my little melt set is kind of big. I'm thinking about getting the Vita palette to go with the Morte palette since they're supposed to be having a sale on the 8th. And I think the palette's only going to be like 30 or 40 bucks, so I might just go ahead and grab it. But this is the Radioactive palette. I went to their website as soon as they had this for sale. It was 48 I ended up paying some ridiculous amount to get it, though, and then I was mad because like when the holiday came, it was on sale for like 50% off. But, you know, I got it when it first came out to review for you all, so I don't regret it. Not to mention, it's Melt, and I love Melt, so I have no problem shelling out the coin to Melt. They're one of the few brands I'm like, when they come out with it, I'm like, yes, I will buy it. I don't care. But this is what it looks like. I think it's gorgeous. Um, And, again, like, I have single dual chrome for palettes like this, because as you can see, the majority of this is the matte and then like the sequin um mats or whatever so i can grab my dual chromes or my shapeshifter stack and add it with this and just get some gorgeous looks so um yeah put that to the side um next i have my morte palette i think i've done like i recently did a look with this actually for a throwback even though it's not thursday video um and i actually didn't use the blue side so i feel like you all should be proud of me and i should get like a slow clap in the comment or something just because i didn't use what you expected me to use which is like the blues and the greens i actually stuck to the red and the white side and i actually like the way it look look you all probably saw it on instagram it was me using just these i think i used this one that one and that one only thing i don't like about these is i feel like the darker ones they darken even further when you put them in the crease and they're not the color that's in the pan so that's the only thing i don't really appreciate about this palette that's what i found otherwise i feel like the quality is great 
and you should definitely check it out especially with the sale because it's gonna be 40 bucks instead of like 58 and you know 20 dollars off milk or almost 20 dollars off milk is a big deal now this is the first palette i ever bought from milk and i'm so glad i bought this over by gemini first because if i had bought gemini first i wouldn't have wanted to buy this palette and i'm glad i didn't get in the first round either because i don't have those shimmers that pop up out of the pan and explode and they have to send you new palettes or whatever but this is what mine look like i recently did a look with this as well i think i did a throwback even though it's not thursday or full face or nothing new or something like that i don't remember the point is i used this recently as well and it is gorgeous and i love it and i'm going to be keeping it out to compare to the um the 420 palette when it comes out so that's why some of these palettes go out like the gemini one of course this is really similar to that palette as well so i kept it out now i don't really like this palette that much i don't like the shade luna um um i like this shade so some of the shades i like and some of them i don't like i feel like this one doesn't work well for me i felt like this one didn't work that well for me either um the green side is mainly what calls me to this palette the mochi shade if i remember correctly it didn't work that well either but since i have like the abh primer it might work better now when i first used this i was just using um a regular eyeshadow powder primer like i think eden primer potion or something and that's why it didn't work out that well for me because you know i need a clear lid in order for stuff to work for me because i am melanin infused and you know that's what comes with the territory and as sad as it is i'm of course a melanin infused person who loves um pastels and of course they don't work for my skin tone either so i'm just over here sad this is the queen of hearts palette i didn't keep the sleeve because i wish the palette had just looked like the sleeve and it didn't and then i was mad um my order this based upon everybody making it seem like this was the best palette ever and i do appreciate this palette because i feel like it's the black the black girls modern renaissance because with modern renaissance is really ashy and people my skin tone can't use that many shades in it in my personal opinion i feel like this is a brown girl friendly version of the modern renaissance so it's like if you want the modern renaissance but you know you brown i would recommend you to get this one instead the queen of hearts i really like it i really like this shade right here what is that royal highness is my shade out of this palette definitely i really like it the best and then the shade princess i like to use those two a lot and ladyship or and duchess like just put all those together and make a nice little quick purple eye look this palette is amazing and cheers to the beauty um I really like it too even though um i think i caught it on sale for like 25 or 30 bucks because people weren't really that fond of it i just didn't like the fact they teased and teased and teased this palette forever made it seem like it was just gonna be that hot shit and then when i saw it i was like this is it i was like halfway disappointed because i was like i know the quality of these shadows are gonna be good but it's like y'all was teasing this forever just for like this that's how i felt and i heard a lot of people said they felt like that too now, i do love the highlighter in here but since they put it in the palette it's like if i don't reach for this palette i don't think about that highlighter they do sell it individually but it's like you know why would i buy it to have it twice when i already have it i just don't think about it because it's in a palette so um anyway um i don't like this shade here of course and i noticed that they do that a lot too which i don't understand because i'm like if you're black on brand do i really need this shade do I really need this shade? Like, I don't really need either one of those shades. So I always get confused when I see their palettes and they do that. But the shimmers in this palette are absolutely phenomenal and amazing. And that's another reason I keep it. Plus, I made a nice little Christmas look with this. Uh, I think I call it a holiday Christmas sleigh or something like that. And I really like the look. I don't think y'all was really that fond of that video. But, you know, I still like the look. So there you go. I'm going to go through my ColourPop palettes just because I have um one of those in the um bag. You know, bag you know what no we'll just do the bh cosmetics ones because i think i only have two here the rest of them i sent to my I think my grandmother's house or they're at my boyfriend's house i don't remember which house they're at but anyway i'll do those and um my mark jacobs one and i think that'll be it i'm trying to get like random straggler palettes done and then that way you know we can be done like for good for good um not for good for good but done with part one because they're gonna have to be a part two especially since i talk so much um so this is the it's my ray ray palette the first one she came out with the face and the eye i really love this palette i have like two of these that's how much i like it this one as you can see is beat up it has setting powder in it like when i go on vacation sometimes i'll take this one depending on what i want out of the look at the time but this is a great palette i need to pull out and use it some more i'm not gonna do a full face of bh cosmetics just because i don't own enough i don't own their new blushes i need to get them i'm thinking i was thinking about getting those and then just doing um a video with this palette and her other palette i might do a palette mashup with both of them because i have the second one of course as well and this one kind of reminds me of that um pat mcgrath's um one of the little palettes she came out with i bought that little palette because it's supposed to be um a dupe for the decadence palette it had not a dupe but it had some of the shades from decadence palette in it 
but this is a really nice palette the only thing is the shimmers in here are more like that satin finish and y'all know how i feel about satins i absolutely hate them so i don't reach for this palette nearly as much as i should just because it's satin and i don't appreciate it but you know it's a great palette and i would definitely recommend you get it before they don't sell anymore i don't know if they still sell it now or not so um hope you got your hands on it because ray does a great job with color stories and things like that um this is a stiletto palette by matt i'm mean, mark jacobs he's um he um this is on the clearance rack at um sephora right now i actually think it's a really great palette i bought it based upon mel thompson raving about it and plus y'all know this is my type of color story when i have to do a more neutral look it's gonna most likely be smoky and i can appreciate this palette definitely so um i would definitely recommend that you check it out and hopefully they get it back in stock and you can get it because it's only 34 and it's usually i think like 50 something i think don't quote me because i'm not 100 percent sure on that um let me, see, let me get the rest of the straggler palette totally yeah, that's a straggler. This is a straggler. These two are stragglers. Yeah, okay, so I got pretty much the rest of the straggler palettes. And wow, I really only have one from them. I just realized I only have one lime crime palette, John. I'm like, wait, what? Okay, so. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Icon palette. If you all saw this video, you all know I hate this palette. This is the only Charlotte Tilbury charlotte tilbury palette i own besides the um what's the name of the other one um i have one of those little new aqua she came out with i bought the blue one of course and i heard the blue one is the worst one out of all of them of course but um so i'm just gonna continue to have bad luck with pat mcgrath i mean with of uh, charlotte tilbury sh shadows again god forgive me mm. pat mcgrath because you know I, everything you come out with is consistent and wonderful but nobody wants to talk about that anyway um i hate this palette um i'm only holding on to it because it's the only charlotte tilbury palette i own and since everybody is selling theirs because apparently they don't like it either plus it was limited edition so i figured maybe i'll change my mind in the future and like it and i don't want to have that regret especially since i already own it i might as well just keep it um kevin aquan nude pop now again i bought this because mel thompson was raving about it and the color story in it is beautiful and i'm so glad i got it when i did because they don't make it anymore the formula of his shadows are amazing thing and it's one of those mauve purpley tone palettes so these are my my type of nude palettes so of course y'all know i had to have it see kevin kwan and huda know how it's done like a nude palette to me is mauves i don't want 50 shades of brown that are my same skin tone and i know i say that all the time but like i told you i'm not saying it to be a jerk it's just if i'm already melanin infused i don't really need a palette that's just more of my skin tone to put on my eyeball my eyeball is already my skin tone that's how it works with everyone so you know i Anyway, this is a spotlight palette. Um, this is on um, one of the OPV beauty palettes I own. I own Tropic Dreams as well, but I ended up decluttering that just because it was like, I feel like it was really similar to the Norvina palettes I showed y'all earlier. And I was like, I got both of those, so do I really need this one too? This is the one I really truly love and enjoy. So I was like, I'm going to hold on to this one and get rid of that one. But this is what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, I did a video on all um, the palettes I have that look similar. And this one to me looks really similar to the... um which is the Born to Run palette, but I like both the formulas, so I just went ahead and kept both of them. So let me show you. Uh, even though I know you've seen what the Born to Run looks like, because they had, was trying to milk the hell out of this last year, I think, when it came out. Or did it come out two years ago? I don't know. But anyway, as you can see, this is just more muted versions of that one. I like that one better because I like the color story better, but the formula on this one, I feel like, is a little better than that one, and I don't like the shimmers in this one as much as like that one. So I obviously reach for that one more than I do for this one, but I do like the formula of this one. It's amazing, and, you know, this is, I think, the only Urban Decay palette I do own so i figured i might as well just hold on to it i think i own like three of them two of them are my grandmother's house just because since i don't really reach for urban decay i didn't feel the need to keep it y'all know i'm not really an urban decay stand i feel like they're inconsistent and then every once in a full moon they come up with something i like in other words i don't want to be bothered so i didn't feel the need to keep it here i was like what's the point we're not even gonna phone to kick it um so this is the wet and wild and pac-man game over palette i should have shown this when i showed the Bretman rock one but i forgot it was in here honestly i did a video with this one time i'm mainly keeping it just because i was one of those kids who really loved pac-man and miss pac-man i actually had the um what do you call it um i had the um arcade one in your house that sat on the floor and as you could play with the stick controller or whatever the glass one from back in the day when i was a kid so like it's pac-man is definitely um nostalgic for me so that's so why i'm keeping this palette i got rid of the blush palette though just because none of those blushes really work for my skin tone it's actually in a bundle on i think makari right now or it might just be on its own i don't remember this is the only tart palette i have so don't give me crap for it this is i feel like their best palette this is the make believe in yourself palette i love the like foil shimmers in this palette that's the only reason i keep it honey because look at it like it 
look at those y'all know those are my type of colors they got a whole bunch of blues and purples in here now they only have one matte shade but i feel like this would be good f um for people who like to do festivals and fairy type makeup but you don't want like a lot of shimmer and sparkle a couple of them have a lot of shimmer and sparkle but otherwise it's pretty easy and the last palette i'm gonna show y'all and i actually really like this palette but they don't make it anymore so it doesn't matter and nobody really cares about them anyway so the last one i have to show that's a single that i remember that i have is the prelude um chroma palette they actually took my thumbnail down because of the like artwork on this palette they said it was inappropriate but i'm like i didn't make the artwork of the palette and i always put pictures of whatever palette is up so as y'all saw i just changed the thumbnail and made it myself that's the only reason it was myself because they wouldn't let me show this i love this palette like this is a grungy lover's dream i feel like this would be a good replacement for the good sport palette by ColourPop since they don't make it anymore i feel like this would be a nice alternative now i know this one is higher but i did i'm doing a giveaway right now with this one um i'm actually going to announce the winner tomorrow because i gotta um go to work tonight and i don't feel like trying to contact people through instagram and figure out who i'm going to use or whatever so tomorrow will be the thing even though i know in the um picture it says today so i'm sorry about that but i didn't plan on having to do overtime today but anyway this ends part one of this video so i hope you enjoyed it remember y'all are diamonds you will see part two eventually but i'm gonna film it now okay